Right now you can see that I have a 3D object. So if I were to rotate around, you can see that right now uh, the front and the back is actually the same. So let's make it a bit interesting by utilizing something called fog. So in order to uh, apply fog, I'm going to go on to my render settings right here and I'm going to go into fog. So I want to choose a fog color right there. So I'm going to choose something like blue because that is how cold fog looks like. So now what I want to do is enable fog. So once I enable, you can see that everything blues out right here, but I want to uh, set a distance from where the fog starts. So right now, uh, to start working with it, I'm going to start the fog, fog range at zero. Uh, right now, for the opacity, I'm just going to press 100. And you can see that there is the fog start distance. Let me just move it around until I see the fog. So you can see that it is minus. If I were to increase this out, you can see that all right so right around in this section i'm just going to see this you can see that now i can see the fog start so if i were to move around the camera you can see that uh if um, the objects at the back back start with the fog just like that so let me just uh increase and decrease the start distance so i'm going to make sure that the fog starts right around in the center right here and now what i want to do is i want to increase the fog range so now there's a sort of an opacity right there so only the back part is actually dark and now I'm going to decrease the opacity of the fog as well just like that and you can see that now the object behind is actually just like that so I'm going to choose a darker color for this and press ok let me just increase the fog opacity just like that and choose a darker color over here all right so increase this just like that and there you go there's a sort of fog right there so now once I rotate around you can see that the objects at the back has a bit of a fog in it so it gives a feel of a depth to the objects just like that so you can move around and i can see that the objects at the back sees a sort of a fog so that is how you can work with fogs inside of element 3d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe